Hey boys and girls, I'm Pastor Justin and I want to share with you a Christmas Bible story today. Today's Bible story is found in Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12 and I encourage you that you go and you read that today. As you know, last week we had a wonderful Christmas production. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, go back and watch it. You'll love it. And then I know a couple weeks ago, Miss Amy was sharing you, with you about Jesus, our Savior who was born. And that's what Christmas is all about. And then Miss Natalie, of course, shared about how the, the shepherd boys were out in the field and all of a sudden the heavens opened up and the angels appeared and shared with them about Jesus. And today I want to talk to you about this Bible story in Matthew chapter 2 about the wise men. And so let's read today's memory verse. It's found in Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Let's read it together. It says, And when they had come into the house, they saw a, the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Boys and girls, you can see right here in this memory verse how the wise men traveled. They followed the star that they saw and they came and they presented and they worshiped Jesus, our Savior, and they presented gifts. And see, that's what I want to encourage you with. That's why we give presents at Christmas time because the wise men came and brought gifts and presents to Jesus. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh because they wanted to worship Jesus. They, they loved Jesus. And and they were so excited to come and to bring him gifts. And so boys and girls, I encourage you to share gifts with those that you love. And the greatest gift that you could ever receive is Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, don't miss today's secret code at the end of the day's lesson. And we can't wait to see you next week. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pickin', Pickin' Noses with your nightly news. We here at WFWC are continuing our amazing coverage of the birth of Jesus with another story tonight. It has come to our attention that wise men from afar have traveled bearing gifts to the Savior, Jesus Christ. We have Newsy Newsum live on the scene. Thank you, Pickin. I'm here with Magi here, and he's got a great story for us. Let's check it out. Magi, or wise men, are not usually seen around Bethlehem, but this wise man and his fellow Magi have quite the story to tell. I have witnessed the most amazing thing I have ever seen. While the Magi and I were studying the stars, we saw a star we had never seen before. According to the Magi, they began to read the scrolls and papers of old, and they happened to come across a prophecy about a king who would be born to save the world. Wanting to meet this king and to worship him, they traveled a long, long way to the city of Jerusalem. While we were in Jerusalem, King Herod asked us to inform him when we met the newborn king, which we all found weird, but we said, okay. That is quite weird. The wise men left Jerusalem and followed the star, which led them to the house of our Lord and Savior. We all bowed before Jesus in worship and adoration. We brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What an honor to be before our newborn king. According to the Magi, after they left Jesus, God spoke to them in a dream, warning them not to go back to King Herod. My heart still weeps to this day, thinking that I was able to witness the birth of my King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus. The Magi say that of all the stars that they've discovered, this is by far the best star. Thank you, Magi, for that incredible tale down this walk through the trees. It was really amazing and very scenic. Good for my, good for my health, you know what I'm saying? Well, speaking of gifts, we have a really special, well, I, I have a really special gift for Pickin, my friend. Back to you, Pickin. I hope you enjoy the gift. <laughs> Use it, please. Wow. Well, well, thank you, Newsy. I am uh, uh, and kind of shocked I, and, and excited. I, I, I was really hoping that someone would send me a gift. Let's, let's open it and, and see. Wow. It's, uh, 
it's it's a box of Kleenex. I I guess I guess that's for my for my nose. <laughs> Whew. I uh, I actually needed these. <laughs> that's this is the best story news the news coverage that we've ever had. The birth of Jesus. I'll tell you, he's the best. He's the best gift of all. He's the best gift we could ask for. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed our WFWC news coverage, the birth of Jesus. God bless you all, and Merry Christmas. Today's Bible story is found in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in a region where the evil King Herod ruled. About the time of Jesus' birth, some wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem, asking King Herod, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was angered by what he heard. A king other than himself? In his own land? Herod called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, for this is what the prophet wrote. You, Bethlehem, are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but from you will come one who will rule Israel for me. He comes from very old times, from days long ago. Then King Herod called the wise men back in for a private meeting. He told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can worship him too. After listening to the king, the wise men left to follow the star. They arrived at the place where Jesus was, and going into the house they found the promised child and his mother Mary. They gave him offerings of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and were so overjoyed at the fulfillment of God's promise they bowed before Jesus and worshipped him. That night in a dream, the wise men were warned about returning to King Herod. He was plotting to kill Jesus. When they awoke, they departed and traveled back to their home country a different way. What can renews these Christmas sock extravaganza where everything is 50% off? If you like a sock that looks good and is cheap, then you want the bargain sock at $10.99. you like a sock that is soft on your foot and soft on your bank account, then the softy sock is for you at $25.99. Thank you for watching News of these Christmas sock extravaganza. This is not a real commercial. This is only produced for purposes only. These socks are not for sale and may be under federal copyright regulation. Hi kids, we have had a great time teaching you about Christmas, talking about the real meaning of Christmas, Jesus Christ. I have a giant gift bow on me today. Kids, did you know that the greatest gift of all time was, is a person, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God sent Jesus to die on the cross for you and for me. He rose again. And in order for you to receive Jesus, the best gift ever, the Bible says that we have to believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we want to give you an opportunity to do that right now. Close your eyes and bow your heads and pray with me. Father God, I thank you that you sent the best gift ever, your son, Jesus, to live on the earth, to die on the cross, and to rise again after three days. God, I accept Jesus into my heart as my Lord of Lords and my King of Kings. God, I thank you for Jesus that I have him living on the inside of me and that I am now a Christian. I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name, amen. Kids, congratulations, you have now received the best Christmas gift ever, Jesus. You have Jesus in your heart. And guess what? You can tell other people that you received the best gift ever and that they can too. You can tell them about Jesus, the true meaning of Christmas. Well, kids, Merry Christmas. Until next time, bye. Today's secret code is... The wise men brought Jesus special gifts. Thank you for watching Celebration Online.
kids, I want to encourage you to make sure that you're in church. At every one of our Family Worship Center locations, we have an amazing children's ministry that you can be a part of. If you live here in the Florence area, come see us. You can meet my husband, Pastor Steve, and see myself over here in celebration. Also, if you live in the Sumter area, join us at our brand new location in Sumter, South Carolina. If you live in Georgetown, you can go worship with Pastor Justin and Miss Joanna at their church. And if you live in Columbia, connect with Pastor JT and Miss Natalie at their church. Kids, come see us in celebration at Family Worship Center. We have a great time every Sunday.